Hello YouTube, this is Handyman. Got a question for you. What do you do with a computer that's a couple of years old but the hard drive is gone? You don't have any money to fix it um, but it's got a lot of good peripherals such as a screen, keyboard, mouse, uh, DVD writer or CD writer, uh, maybe even a floppy disk. Uh, I've got a good solution for you, it's called Puppy Linux. Um, you can boot from either a pen drive, floppy disk, CD-ROM or DVD-ROM. It's a lightweight, fully functional uh, operating system and it's fantastic. It's very easy to use, it's, got, it's packed with features um, and you can add a lot more. Uh, I've got um, Firefox here, look. We'll surf the net with this. Uh, let's go quickly just to show you how quickly it works. Very quick, very easy. There you go. Look. See? Um, you can message your friends. Um, I use AMSN, but you can download Pigeon. You can download other messengers for it. Um, you can write let documents with this. This is all from the desktop. There's lots of other applications which I took off. You don't need to if you want to use them. But anyway, there's write a document. There's paint. I like to do. Um, you've got um, media player. Look, um, all sorts. I've got my uh, screen capture, which I'm doing for you now. Then, if you go into the men menu control, again, it's packed with features. Games. Look, you can download more games if you want. There's multimedia look with uh, audio mixers, CD rippers, DVD rippers, um, ISO, burn an ISO, burn your Blu-ray writer look. On the internet side you've got, if you like bit uh, uTorrent download uh, films, you can do that. There's YouTube downloader. Skype look. I've got. I've installed Skype look. You have to install uh, the BitTorrent as well. Um, networking. You've got um, wireless scanners. Look. There's the firewall. Personal. You've got documents. You've got personal organizer. Notes. Business. You can do. Um, you've got spreadsheets here and home banking and calculators and stuff. But you can also download OpenOffice and then you can do presentation and so on uh, word processing and stuff like that from OpenOffice um, so again you've got documents here and you've got uh, word processing and all you need to do is click on it and it opens up that let's have word again um, but also in documents you've got text editors obviously if there's text you want to use but these are also used for programming and they're very good um, going to the graphics side, you've got um, screen um, slide presenters, look, paint image editors, look, ink vector editors, so on and so forth. Now, the file system is easy to, to navigate as well. Um, it's very easy to use, look. And what can I say? There's all its applications, look. So easy to navigate very very good now in the um, in the setup you have what they call the puppy package manager which is very very handy now this is a, a deposit full of um, applications that you can add um, here's, here's all the different like desktop systems file system, graphic, documents, so on and so on, network. And all you need to do is click on that and it will come up with something. Now, 
all, at the top here, there's all the different puppies. So in puppy five, you have various different things. Um, it'll be slightly different maybe in the pup puppy four. These are the updates. So if you go to puppy four, for instance, as you saw in business, there was nothing on puppy five, but there's some updates on puppy four. Look, go into file system. Now desktop. I'll show you how easy and quick you can download something. Now I'm going to just download a new theme here, look. And all you need to do is click on it. And it opens up. Yes, I want that theme. It's going to tell, ask me um, where to get it from. It's going to go to the net, download it, install it, click OK, blah -de blah and there it is. Let's give it a second, it's just updating. Just one second, and there you go. It's all done, look. Can't get easier than that, can you? Okay, and so you've got all these different puppies, look. Fantastic. Dead easy to use. What a good solution, eh? Rather than chucking that old computer away, or sticking it in the drawer to gather dust. Don't do that. Find yourself a pen. You can run this on a, um, on a minimum pen. I mean, one gigabyte. I mean, if you've got one gigabyte pen, whatever. On a CD and a DVD, if you, you can run this directly from a CD. If your computer's got a CD writer, it will then rewrite the CD when you close out of the system so you're always bang up to date. So there you go. I'll call that a day now. But um, if you want to know where to get this from and how to install it on your system look out for the second video. I'm going to do another video and I'll tell you where to get it from and how to install it. Okay so good night and look out for the second video. Okay, bye bye now.